welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you guys some wardrobe staples that I've been reaching for non-stop this entire winter season. I have everything from jackets, shoes, and bags, so let's get right into it. The first item I want to highlight is actually one of my newer pieces in my wardrobe, and it is this pair of leather pants from Joseph. You guys might have seen this in my Asia haul, but I didn't really show it to you guys in depth, like a try-on or anything. But ever since I bought this in Tokyo, I have been wearing this non-stop. These are just the most simple and like classic black leather pants that are very seamless as you can see and you can also put in a belt around it. In terms of the fit, I would say it's like a slim to straight fit but more so on the slim side which is something I definitely prefer. You guys know how much I love my leather bottoms, right? I mean, I've done like a whole dedicated video on my leather bottom outfits. This pair is 100% leather, so it was definitely an investment, but I really do love an all leather bottom. I think they really do last a long time, and because they're leather, they really just form into your skin form into your body and curves and everything. So Joseph is a brand that I'm more and more interested in. Every time I go to Tokyo, I try to go into their store. Their style is very simple yet elegant and they do have really good quality pieces. A lot of their pieces are very like well tailored. They have a really good fit. So I have been in a way like collecting new pieces from Joseph whenever I can. I survived all these years with like my faux leather pieces and they really did serve a good purpose. But I'm at a point where I know that leather pieces are a very crucial part of my entire like style, my entire wardrobe. So whenever I can and whenever I find a piece that's really good quality and at a reasonable price, I always add that to my wardrobe. And this was definitely one of them. This I believe is in French sizing. So I went with 34. Yes, I went with 34. And I was a bit nervous trying these on because the models for Joseph are usually like six feet and I'm like 5'3". So any like bottoms and pants they're just way too long on me. But when I tried these on, it really felt like they were made for me because this ticked off every single box that I had for a pair of leather pants. This isn't like a typical skinny, so it doesn't feel like a leggings. It's more of a trouser, so there is a bit of room around my ankles. And then the length was just beyond perfection because it hit right at my ankles. So I could just wear a lot of mules that I have, heels that I have. And I just really love that fit where it's like a slim, straight fit especially when it comes to leather pants so that you can wear with heels so i'm really really happy to have this in my wardrobe and i have been wearing this pretty much non-stop because i really feel like you can just wear this in any occasion and because they're black i don't think it can get any more classic than this i want to say i don't really follow trends honestly i just can't keep up with them it's a little too much and i just like to wear what i want but there are times where i feel like a skinny fit or like a leather leggings feel and look a little bit dated so something like this feels more current and just like a little bit more stylish aside from leather pieces you guys know that for bottoms i like to keep them a little bit short because i am petite but when it's cold outside it is a little bit hard to wear like a mini skirt so when i saw these i thought they would be like the most perfect short bottoms but for the winter season because of the material so they're both from that korean brand that i've been shopping a lot from the first one is a black pair of shorts and then this is a skirt they're in this quilted fabric right so these are basically like your puffer jacket but like for your bottom so this is like a quilted puffer shorts and this is a quilted mini skirt. I love them both so much. They are a very different vibe. And because they're all in this like puffer fabric, they're actually pretty warm. And if you watch my Tokyo vlog, you guys know that I wore this with my sleeveless um, cashmere top and my fur coat. And it was just so warm, a little too warm almost. Depending on how cold it is where you live or wherever you're going, you can wear something like this with sheer tights, just any black tights, even leggings for that added like warm and honestly sheer tights are another like winter wardrobe essential for me it's kind of like one of the most important ones probably have like 30 pairs in my closet because that's just something that's a very like given item for me and the best part is that they both have pockets so it's just very very casual and kind of different at the same time and if it's not too cold outside i can honestly wear this with a cream sweater maybe like a jacket but with bare legs and it just still works there's something about this quilted fabric that gives off that wintry vibe so even just from like a visual standpoint when i wear these even though they are short i don't think i make people feel cold when they see me i don't know about you guys but when it's cold outside and i see people like 
half naked, it makes me cold. And because of that, I hate doing that to others. But because of this quilted texture, I don't think I make them cold or give them that impression. And just in general, I feel like they're very unique. It's a little bit unexpected. They are just a little bit different. So I really do like them. In terms of shoes, there is one pair that I've been wearing non Stop. Actually, I can't really say non-stop because I don't wear them like all the time But these are the ones I wanted to highlight my Mew Mew pumps. These shoes are quite snouty as you can see They are pretty pointy and like long the heels really remind me of Amina Mwadi shoes But maybe because of that flat bottom they really are comfortable even when it comes to shoes I really do want to make sure I am somewhat like weather appropriate and I personally don't like open-toed heels in the winter season Especially if you live somewhere cold. So I was looking for for shoes that I could just wear pretty much all year round but mostly in the winter season and they came right along. I've worn them a handful of times already which is quite a lot for like a pair of heels. These really work for my style. I normally wouldn't go for Mary Jane's but for some reason they just work. Maybe it's because it's like in yellow gold like a chain detail so it can just go with like the rest of my jewelry or my bag straps. These heels just tie everything together without making like too much of a statement and a lot of my shoes are black so they have to be black of course. It was just kind of like a no-brainer and I think for this design especially, the black one was the best. I think these shoes were just so me with like the black pattern, the gold, like everything. And I think if you just have one pair of like good shoes that you can rely on and style with a lot of different things, I think for me it's this. It's really going to make your life so much easier when you have to plan for things or any like last minute events. So they have been such a good addition to my wardrobe. In terms of outerwear, I do have these coats to share with you. I have them in like four different colors, but I'm just going to like highlight these two for today. These are also from that Korean brand. So this particular item is called their raccoon coat because the fabric has a mix of like raccoon hair. They have been my uniform almost this entire season. I wear at least one of them at least once a day because they are the most perfect jacket to throw on when you have to like run out the door, walk your dog, get groceries, run errands, everything. This one in particular has been my favorite just because of the color. This was one of the newest colors for 2023 in butter beige, I believe. You can just tell the texture. It honestly feels like a blanket. It's amazing. It's a very simple design. It honestly just looks like a giant cardigan slash coat. No buttons or anything, but it does come with the waist strap so you can like tie it up or you can put on a belt over to like cinch in the waist. Because of my skin tone, this color I think suits me the best out of all the ones that I have. I can literally wear the thinnest tank top and just throw this on and I'm not even cold. It's so incredible like how warm this jacket it is. And then another variation I have is this one. It's their ivory color and you can tell that this actually has hood. I think I might have featured this in my winter capsule wardrobe. They hit around your ankles so it is a quite long coat and here's a belt that came with it and then the best part is that there's pockets and because of the hood this feels a lot warmer than that. It's crazy how this little detail adds so much warmth but it really does. Honestly this feels a lot warmer than any of my like fur coats or like a shearling jacket. And another amazing thing about these coats is that they almost are like waterproof. It was raining quite a bit this year, like especially in January, but I still have to walk the dog, right? So I either wore this or my Aritzia puffer jacket, and I feel like this just kept me a lot warmer in terms of like the water resistance like level. It was pretty much the same. And you would think because of the fabric, it would get like wet or soggy and like just heavy. It really doesn't. It's almost like rain -X on your coat. Like the rain doesn't even see through. It's insane. My last item I want to highlight is a bag and it is my vintage Chanel velvet backpack in this gorgeous green color. If you've been following me for a while, you would know that this bag has been with me since day one, I think. Yeah, I think I got this like four years ago at this point. This is my very first vintage piece from Chanel. And when I first saw this, it was really like a love at first sight kind of moment. It was displayed in the store with all the lights shining. It was in like the most perfect condition. It was just calling out my name. And ever since then, I've never looked back. I think this bag is so underrated. I don't even know how old this bag is, but I know they used to do backpacks in this design, which I feel like is so underrated. Like they should totally bring back. It's not so shouty, but it does hold the brand's like very recognizable features like the CC logo here, the quilting and the chain strap. So if you look closely, you know it's a Chanel piece without making it so obvious. I especially love this zipper. It is such a gorgeous piece. 
these and these little pockets here in the front I actually don't use them but they do have the stuffing that they came with and I just like to keep them puffy for the look the actual bag opens like this all the way and there's a bit of like a leather flap I guess to hold all your belongings and this bag surprisingly can hold a lot it holds an iPhone Pro Max your wallet keys maybe lip gloss and like a couple things here and there and actually does hold this camera so this bag is really practical and very very useful and because it's in velvet I only like whip it out in like the fall and winter season usually I wear this bag like this around my shoulder combine all the straps but because it's a backpack you can wear it like this this really creates more of a casual vibe, more like a schoolgirl kind of thing. So most of the time, I just like throw it over my shoulder. But I do appreciate how like low-key this bag is. I don't want to get too much into like the Chanel quality in this video, but honestly, these straps are so much heavier than a lot of the straps that I have on my current bags. It's really, really crazy. And it's in one of my favorite colors, so I had to mention this. So that was it, you guys. Those were my winter wardrobe staples that I wanted to share with you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, as always, for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!